you all Bubs the Beast. Um, I'm talking to you guys today about a topic that my Facebook friend um wanted some help with clarify. Um, he's actually a white guy and he has um interracial children. He has black children, black and white children, um, with somebody. And he was saying how when our kids were younger and they went to school, they were bullied a lot because they were mixed. And he's wondering like how are they getting bullied by black kids? You know, the kids are black. So why are the kids bullying them? Um, and I will admit, um, you know, I don't know many mixed kids, but growing up, th there's always something that people will use to um, classify you versus them. If it's not what you're wearing and it's not your hair, it's your freaking face. Okay. And for whatever, yes, there is this cliche in the black community that you ain't really black unless you're black. And that's not even the case because there are 30, 40 different mixtures of black people. Okay. And I'll, be, I'll, I'll go even a step further. I recently found out that white people are made from black people. So there's black in everything. So how can one person discriminate on one other person who's also black? That's just a little bit lighter. You know what I mean? And I'll, I'll basically tell you what it is in short, Marv. Um, People are intimidated by people that they think are better than them. Okay? They think you have more money or they think you're doing better or they think you are more educated. Then they'll decide to, to belittle you to try and make themselves feel better. Okay? So no, it was no part, no, you know, specific reason that they targeted your children. It's not even the fact that they're mixed. It's the fact that they speak well. They probably dress well and they probably have respect for themselves, which in a nutshell is something that people in the black neighborhood can't seem to get over. See what I'm saying? Any sign of being different in a black community is a bad thing. And I don't know why that is. I don't know why black communities act like that. I'll tell you what. Um, don't be surprised. When I say my daughter just came home crying yesterday because somebody's bullying her, saying that she looks different and she's dark as night. You see what I'm saying? So it does not matter what color you are. People, it's, it's just ignorance, okay? That's what it boils down to in a nutshell. People are just ignorant. They probably weren't raised correctly. They, you know what I mean? Probably just are around ignorance and so they need to spew it back out to anybody who's around you see what i'm saying and I'll, I'll tell you what i was even talked about at a young age because they said i spoke too proper I, no bitch i speak proper english you know what i mean like i can still get hood with you but yes when i go to an interview honey i'm going to conduct myself like a grown woman not a black woman a woman period you see what i'm saying so race has nothing to do with why your kids were being bullied your kids are being bullied because you probably take really good care of your kids and your kids probably have respect for themselves you know, so don't never, if you're mixed or you're a different color or you're three or four different colors, don't, don't let ignorance bother you. Shake that shit off. You know what I mean? Because you're going to be different. Everybody is different. There's not one person who is exactly the same. People are going to just feel some type of way about you for no apparent reason. You know what I mean? And so. In short, like I said, color has absolutely nothing to do why with why the kids were just being mean to your kids. Your kids probably just have a really good upbringing and that just intimidates people. So that's my opinion on it. Bubs the Beast over and out.